All New X-Men number 6. The issue opens with Idy, Iceman, Beast, and Cyclops still fighting the Blob, and with Iceman finally able to relax a little, he and Idy work up a shake-and-bake move that throws the Blob hundreds of feet away. Cyclops stops for a second to pat the team on the back, just in time to let his guard down and get hit by a drunk driver. Kid Apocalypse runs up to the car and realizes who the driver is, another former ex-nemesis, Toad. As he makes this realization, Beast is being thoroughly beaten mercilessly by the Blob. Across town, Wolverine tries to shake off the breakup she just experienced from Angel, but just as she's thinking about it, he flies away into a fiery stream and explodes into the Blob, saving Idy in the process, who's again busy in her rambling about God. And just as Blob stomps him, Angel slams a piece of rebar into Blob's eye and crashes back down onto him, finally incapacitating him for good. The issue wraps with Kid Apocalypse informing the team about Scott being taken hostage by Toad. There's a peek of him tied to an altar inside the Parisian catacombs underground and the Toad making some rather threatening conjecture. We're left to wait for what's coming in the next issue. Overall, this was a pretty good issue. I think this is probably at the top of the list when it comes to X-Books right now. If Uncanny's the flagship title, which is debatable, this title isn't far from it. Plus, old villains and young X-Men make it almost a classic set in modern times. I give it a 9 out of 10. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up and subscribe. This video is an accompaniment to my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.